Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here, and I'm just about to install Windows on my new mining rig, so I figured I'd take you guys along on the ride with me, and I'm gonna show you three different things in this video. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows properly on your mining rig. Secondly, I'm gonna show you all the settings you need to set Windows up properly for mining. And third, I'm gonna show you how to set Windows up in a way so that it will start mining instantly as soon as you boot Windows up. So yeah, come along on the ride with me. All right, so installing Windows is pretty straightforward. We just gotta click through this screen. And hit install now. And then when it asks for the activation key, I'm just gonna click, I don't have a product key. And then what I want to install is Windows 10 Pro N. So basically the N version just means it's a more stripped back version of Windows with less of all of that bloatware that comes with Windows. So that's what we're going for. Accept the terms. And so for this option, I'm gonna go with a custom install. And since this is a completely fresh SSD, uh, I don't need to format anything or anything along those lines. So I just hit next here. And then it's just gonna take forever copying the Windows files and getting ready and installing and stuff. And I'll see you back here when that's done. All right, so Windows just finished installing and the computer is gonna restart now. All right, so we're getting into the initial Windows setup here. I'm just gonna say United States, because I don't think it matters very much. Then I'm gonna select the keyboard layout. I don't need to add a secondary keyboard layout. All right, so this is where the sort of mining specific stuff starts. You're gonna wanna say, I don't have internet here. Because it's gonna force your computer to make an offline user account for Windows. And that's what you want. And it's gonna ask you to please connect to the internet, but we're gonna say continue with limited setup down at the left hand side. And then you can name your user whatever you want. I'm just gonna put admin. And then it's gonna ask you to put a password, but you, you have to not put a password here. So no password. All right, so the reason why we set up our user account in this way is because this is the only way, at least that I've found, uh, that allows us to log straight into Windows without the computer sort of like getting stuck on the login window. And the reason why we want that is because together with something that I'm gonna show you a bit later in the video, it allows us to just power our computer on and it will go straight into Windows and start mining without you having to do anything. Then you just want to be turning all of this stuff off because it's just using resources and wasting electricity. I do not want to use Cortana for anything. And that's it. All right, so we've booted into Windows and the first thing I'm gonna say to Microsoft Edge is maybe later. And then sort of like the very first thing I like to do when I get into Windows is I just open up my start menu here. And I just start going through all of the things here. I just uninstall everything that I don't need. Uh, maybe keep the calculator, but I don't need a calendar. So I'm just gonna go through the whole start menu and uninstall everything that I don't need. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, now we're gonna connect to the internet because now we're gonna update Windows. So I'm just gonna plug an ethernet cable in. There we go. Sure. All right, and then what we're gonna do is just open the start menu, go to the little cog wheel here for settings, go to update and security, and check for updates. And then I'm just gonna let this look for updates and I'm gonna install all of the updates that it gives me. 
All right, so now that Windows has updated and we restarted our computer, what we want to do next is actually stop Windows from updating itself further. So close the settings here and then down in the little search bar here, we're going to type in run and we're going to open up run and we're going to type in services.msc. So services.msc, hit OK. And in here, we want to go down the list and find Windows Update. And if, like for me, it says running or active, all you got to do is you, you right click on it and you tell it to stop. And then we're going to right click on it again, hit properties. And under startup type, we're going to change that to disabled hit apply and okay now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna adjust for best performance so go back to your search bar type in this PC right click and say properties once that pops up you want to go over here on the right and say advanced system settings and in this box that pops up under performance you want to click settings and then you want to hit adjust for best performance hit apply so now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna set up our virtual memory size this is very important for mining so you want to go in this same window here you want to click on advanced then you want to come down here where it says virtual memory and hit change and you want to uncheck this automatically managed paging file size for all drives and then you want to set a custom size down here and this custom size needs to be equal of the memory on all of your GPUs combined. So in my case, I have 16 GPUs all with six gigabytes of memory like per GPU. So if we open up our calculator here, we can type in six gigabytes times 16 GPUs it's 96 gigabytes and then times that by 1000 to convert it to megabytes 96,000 and that is the size of my virtual memory so 96,000 and I'm going to set that for both the initial and the maximum size 96,000 hit set and okay all right, so now that we've finished this, we want to set up our power settings. So just hit OK on this window and OK on this window. And in our settings here, you can go to home, then hit system. Go to power and sleep on the left hand side. And you want to say never for when the screen should turn off. And you want to say never for when the computer should go to sleep. After you've done that, you want to hit additional power settings up here. And you want to click on show additional plans over here. And select high performance. Then you want to hit change plan settings. And again, you want to turn off the display never. And put the computer to sleep never. And then you can click change advanced power settings over here. And it will give you this window. And in here, you just have to click the P PCI Express, hit the link state power management, and just make sure that that is set to off. Then hit OK. Hit save changes over here. Exit out of this window. And exit out of this window. All right, so that is it for your Windows settings. Now, what we want to do as well is we want to uh, make it so that the miner will start running automatically as soon as we boot up into Windows. And to do that, we open our file explorer and you have to click view up here. And you wanna click the hidden items checkbox so that you can see hidden items. Then you wanna go to this PC, go to your local C drive Go to program, go to program data 
go to Microsoft, go to Windows, then you want to go to Start Menu, Programs, Startup. Now this is the folder where you can put things that should start automatically once you open Windows. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click down here and I'm going to open another window of File Explorer. And in here I have my miner which is T-Rex miner. And this is the preset I'm using, the, the Ethereum mining to Ether mine. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to click and hold on this with my right mouse key. So right click and hold, then pull that to my desktop. And then I'm going to say create shortcut here. And then I'm going to immediately grab this and pull that into my startup folder here. And it's going to ask for administrator permission to do that. Just say continue. So now what happens is as soon as you boot up Windows, it is going to automatically launch this shortcut, which launches this bat file, which launches your miner. Excellent. All right, so if this helped you set Windows up for mining on your computer, then please give the video one of these. I really appreciate it. And what you got to do now is you got to click on one of those videos on the screen because this video is over. You could also subscribe to the channel by clicking the picture of my face. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click that next video and I'll see you there. Bye bye. Goodbye.